Hello and welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm going to be showing you the best way to actually do this quest because it took me a while. I want to help people do it so it doesn't take them as long as it took me. Um, but it's the Duchesses and Other Animals Stranger Mission. It is from Algernon and Wasp. You will get it halfway through chapter 4. If you want to go to his growing house in Saint Denis, it's north of Saint Denis, and it will give you some exotic things to get mainly different orchids and bird plumes um, but obviously the first one you have to get is bird plumes so you need five snowy egret plumes five little egret plumes five reddish egret, egret plumes and you need 50 lady of the night orchids and so while you're getting them plumes you want to make sure you get the heron plumes as well because you're going to need that next and the best way the best place i found to get these plumes is on the map right there um, honestly, it's the best place I found. There's a few, there's quite a few of them there, so you should be able to do the challenge fairly quickly. So once you've got the plumes, you need 15 Lady of the Night orchids. Now, the Lady of the Night orchids are pretty easy, and this is the map where you can see them. Them red dots is the location of each one. You only need 15, so it's fairly easy, and they spawn on trees. Um, remember to go in eagle vision if that's what it's called because you'll be able to know where one is like that um, so it's on a tree and you can just collect it and then that's one out of 15 and you want to keep doing that for the other lady of the night orchids so once you've got the lady of the night orchids and you've got to take everything off and you want to go head back to Saint Denis and go to Algernon Wasp and then he'll, he'll give you a cutscene and he will give you more exotic things to get. So next up you're going to need 20 heron plumes. Now if you got the plumes when you was getting the other plumes then you should have around that. But if not, the same location should work. Then you need 7 lady slipper orchids. Now these took me a while to find. Um, they do grow on the ground at fixed positions. 10 moccasin flower orchids and these also grow on the ground at fixed positions um, and then that's what you need for this next one so the lady slipper orchids you can find dots on this map i got the map from power pyx i'll leave the links in the description for each map so you can go check it out as well um, now halfway through this i needed two lady slipper orchids and i couldn't find any you know, west of the map. So I went near Blackwater to actually get to. And you wanted there, so you do get bounty hunters after you. Um, I managed to actually get two without them um, killing me. So that's what you can do there. So next, you need 10 moccasin flower orchids. These grow on the ground as well. And there you can get it near Annersburg, Ansberg, and also near Fanhorn. And so there is the map where you can get them from. And you need 10 of them. So once you've done that, you can head, over, you can head back to St. me and it will give you enough cutting and more exotic items to get. So, this is exotic request free. You need 25 gator eggs. Um, you could, you can get them while you're getting the, the other things and when you're getting the ghost orchid. You need three Akuna's star orchids. These grow on trees, which is good because the ones that grow on trees are the easiest to find, in my opinion. And then cigar orchids. These also grow on trees. And then ghost orchids. Um, these grow on trees as well. So this should be a fairly easy one. You should find gator eggs while you're looking for these orchids. Now, when you're in the, in the eagle eye vision, the gator eggs come up as orange. So they're fairly easy to spot. The gator eggs, obviously, they are ma mainly in the swamp. And you can find them near the big alligators. 
So Akuna Star Orchids, you can find them on the map there. Each of them dots. And where if you put a marker on exactly where the um, dot is, then you should come across one. And then just do that two more times. Same goes for the cigar orchids, which is the same. You just put a marker on the dot and then that's where one will be. And same goes for the ghost orchid, do that again and then you should get them. This is a fairly easy one. I found this really easy. And um, you should get this done the quickest. So once you've done them, you can go back to Saint Denis and go to Aldrin and Wasp, and then obviously again he'll give you a cutscene and all that, and he'll give you another request to do, and that is 30 spoonbill plumes. It's better off if you get the spoonbill plumes while you're hunting the other birds when you first start this because it took me a while because I didn't do them at first, the spoonbill ones, and it just took me a while to find them. Then you need night. Five night scented orchids, ten rat tail orchids, five spider orchids, and then that's for this one. So the spillbird plumes are in the same area as the other birds, fairly easy. I recommend going to that place where I said earlier on in the video. So night scented orchids, um, you want to get these at this location, above the and um, below the brave weights and to the right of the brave weights, um, and they're on trees fairly easy then rat tail orchids these are also on trees and there's a lot in the same area near the grass um, so they're on trees as well so you can easily do that spiders orchid they're on trees as well so that's pretty easy and they're at this location on the map so around near each other so when you've done this you can go ahead and go back to Saint Denis and go give him Orchids you found and then you're gonna get another cutscene and then he's gonna give you the last request which is request five it's the last one and you need five clamshell orchids five dragon mouth orchids five queen queen's orchids and then ten sparrows egg orchids So the clamshell orchids can be found at this location, these are on trees, so that's great, um, and they're left of Saint Denis. So if you go to each one of them dots then you should find it, just need five so it's not that much. So then you need five dragon's mouth orchids, now these do grow on the ground and they're at fixed positions, and they're at this location here. It took me a little bit to find them but not as long as the other ones and then after that you need five queens orchids now these do go on the ground again at fits positions and they're around Le Grat. so it should be easy but they are on the ground so you gotta make sure they don't they're not in too much grass and you don't miss them
and then you need tent, sparrows, egg, orchids. It took me a little bit to do to actually find them all, but once I found one, I actually just started finding them somehow. <laughs> I just kept coming across them and um, ended up doing that pretty quick. So that's all the five exotic requests in Red Dead Redemption 2. Once you've got all of them, you can go back to St. Denis and go to Algernon Wasp. And then um, you get a nice hat and you get the gun as well. And this is all five exotic requests, meaning that it does go towards 100% completion list. So if you did enjoy... And I hope you out in this video and then Here's please subscribe one. and hit that like button for more videos like this one. Because I plan on doing more videos like this. Um, and I really do hope I helped you out. Because it did take me a while to do this. But it is a trophy as well. And an achievement once you've completed all of them. So it's not a waste of time. Because if you're going for platinum, you get the trophy. And you get a nice hat and a weapon. But anyway, subscribe, hit that like button. And I'll see you in the next video.